What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Live, and I'm back out here with another legendary video. And in this video, I'm on Vanquish with it, season three. Shout out to all you guys that came over to this Vanquish cluster, and you guys are attempting to go after the cash rewards, which is over seven hundred dollars. Make sure y'all drop a like, hit that subscribe button. And trust me, I got more videos coming. You guys will see how we took Cube and how we got started on this new cluster, man. It's pretty dope. The pop has been insane. Um, the events is every Sunday. It's just so much going on, man. Make sure y'all hit the link in the description if you guys want to come raid me or possibly join my tribe. Let's get into the video. So I'm starting off here with soon as the server popped up, me and my boy Rav. We came over here to try to claim cube. Some guy came down here and started uh, placing structures. So we'll see four of those structures now and getting the claim. All right. So it was a little bit of PVP of him coming in and out. That's why I was just sitting here on a stalker to catch him when he fly in. But when I got on, he stopped showing up. I wonder why, man. So with the Bob taken care of, um, he lost his life a couple of times. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these pearls real quick so I can get tech turrets, get heavy turrets as quick as possible. All right, and as you can see, man, when you're getting pearls down here, that scorpion will put you to sleep. Just be very careful. I got lucky and was off the plant pot. So I was able to get back up and still grind, man. <laughs> It was a funny situation. I thought I'd put this in the video, show you guys how funny it is to get put to sleep trying to grind. All right, it's a decent amount of pearls down here. If you grind out all the pots, you probably end up about 3K, 4K. It's a decent amount for some electronics and get some early turrets for your base, man. I love Gen 2. It's one of my favorite maps. And starting out on this map, we definitely got the place. After snatching all them pearls, there's another play to be made, which is grind out a couple of these drops. Um, I do recommend if you guys come over here, um, you might wanna uh, grind out these drops and build yourself a grinder. If you get that grinder and all the little free saddles you get from these drops will help you tremendously, all right? And to give you a boost in resources that you can turn around and start crafting things that you do need. At this point, I was looking for beaver dams trying to get efficient with the cp and i found one beaver dam man it was tough but we about to hit these drops for a little bit and head over to the grind pad um the base we use to get cute So we at the main pad right now. It's just a Cliff Platt, Fabby, Rep, uh, Indy, a couple of refining forges that we started with. This is all you really need to claim a good base location. You want to have everybody in the tribe being efficient, going to do different things that helps the tribe as a whole. All right. The important thing about this right now is me getting XP and hitting level 100. And it's fairly easy. All right, so I headed over to Extinction to look for some beaver dams and I decided to go get all the XP notes that I possibly can find. As you guys know, I got every note on official. So I know where most of them at. The 4X notes help tremendously. Um, so you wanna get those first. And then outside of that, you wanna just grab whatever you can. Um, shout out to my guy, Mike Cat. He came over here, brought me a PT. So we can go snatch up all these notes, man. The XP is really important on Deddy. I would focus that on day one. The higher level you get, the quicker you can make those tech turrets and heavy turrets. And you're in the game, man.
so as you guys can see we got quite a bit of XP a couple levels um, really really helps to get these notes as I was explaining earlier if you guys need help hitting these notes just keep coming back to this video and it'll show you where a majority of them that you can find on this map is all right some little cheeky ones like this one right here hide behind the wall um, the 4x notes is by far the most lucrative ones you'll get three to four levels um, when you're in your 60s and 70s when you grab those notes all right extinction is a pretty cool map to start out on but I'm not sure if the base locations permit living here unless you choose lamppost or something really really OP like that extinction is insane all right I do want to get over here and run some drops to hopefully get some OP mechs you can probably even do a couple red drops with the new cacks and go crazy all right so we finishing up this with the final 4x here at the top of this little cliff I'm not even sure if this oh yeah this is a 4x so there's a 4x right here right outside the desert biome come over here snatch this up get the purple XP buff um, learn all the new saddles and all the crazy dinos that you can now equip saddles to and get back to your main server to grind your base man hope you guys definitely appreciate that little XP run right there it's super efficient super dope and it helped me protect the base even better so now we back on gen 2 with the XP in hand, it's time to start crafting up some ARB. A couple of the guys are out grabbing some well needed tames. And the fact that we got cube is not really locked up yet. We need turrets in there ASAP. And there's no point putting turrets somewhere if you don't have the bullets. So doing flip runs is crazy and very important. I'm also stacking the forges with wood because the wood takes a while to turn into charcoal. So you wanna keep those forges cooked and filled. Um, the problem with uh, trying to keep the forges filled is if you fill it with wood, you won't be able to cook that metal. So you wanna do 50-50 in the beginning to get a decent amount of charcoal. Um, and on Deddy, um, this Vanquish Deddy, you're not allowed to tame Striders for the first seven days. So you definitely gotta think outside the box all right you could punch rocks and get a ton of flint it's not a big deal um set up and get some chem tables and some uh grinders and you should be able to be chilling in the first three to four hours and just be loaded with resources that's pretty much what we did we had so much resources in the first couple of hours of the wipe there was no way these guys were going to stop us from taking cube all right and the most secret thing to do when you get on gen 2 on a fresh wipe i cannot express this anymore is running as many missions as you physically can to get as many points as you can all right the cp is one of those resources that's really annoying to find in the beginning so if you can buy slot caps of cp with the points it's just going to speed you up to be able to build up whatever base location that you choose all right so this is circuit chase this is one of my favorite missions to run um when i start over on a fresh wipe so you guys can pay attention to this and see how i get through i'm not doing alpha i'm doing beta because beta gives 3,000 points alpha gives 3,800 but alpha you can't efficiently knock out alpha every time as soon as you make a mistake you fail so at least beta leaves room for mis for error and 3,000 points is a lot, man. You get that every two minutes-ish. So yeah, until you tame up some gigas and some cacks, and then you can just run the velo mission, all right? But let's finish off this circuit chase. Let's get these points, and let's cop the CP so we can move into the queue.
So this is like six to seven hours later, the following day, Cube is looking hella stacked. Um, shout out to everybody on the Vanquish cluster. Shout out to the enemies that wanted Cube that we fought to keep this Cube. Um, it's one of the best base locations in the game. It's very hard to raid when we're online. We do have a lot of work to do to cap out the wall and cap out the tech turrets. Most of them are capped, but we still got a lot of work to do. So if you want to raid us, you want to come over here and play against us, please link in the description. The Vanquish server is definitely bussing, bussing, and I will be dropping hopefully two videos a week to three about how it's going, all right? We do have a lot of raising to do, and we got to prep to push to go for alpha cluster um which means we have to raid kids to get points and we have to build land bases and defend it to get points and possibly win the 700 dollars at the end of season three shout out to my squad um reese rav um all the guys man mike cat uh everybody man it's super supportive my guy vault Everybody on this team is amazing, man. They, they all work hard, and we're we doing really, really well, man. Make sure y'all drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. I want to keep dropping these videos so y'all keep supporting, man. I'm headed back to the lab, back to creating, back to doing what I do. Listen, back-to-back -back videos, man. I'm gone.